Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jules. Today we're going to dive into my favorite Korean beauty skincare products. First, I'm going to take you through my skincare staples, the things that I use morning and night. It's not really going to be a morning routine or evening routine. I'm just going to kind of tell you all the things that I'm using and when I use them. Most of the products that I have you can purchase at socoglam.com. It's my favorite destination for getting Korean beauty products, Asian beauty products. First and foremost, got to put the hair back. So the first products I'm gonna talk about are cleansers. I double cleanse my face in the evening and I just use cold water in the morning. So for the evening, I am currently using the Pore Cleansing Oil from Han Skin, and this is BHA. Let me make sure I'm saying this right. BHA is beta hydroxy slash salicylic acid. I went with BHA because I have a combination skin that's more on the oily side, and so this cleansing oil is for an oily skin type. I specifically was looking for something with salicylic acid because I do have a lot of blackheads that I've been actively trying trying to reduce and just clear through. Disclaimer, I've been getting hydrofacials once a month. I've had two so far, um, and I already noticed a difference in the congestion around my nose as well as like my chin area. I just wanted to further continue to clean out my pores, and then maybe eventually I might move to AHA, which is alpha hydroxy glycolic acid, which focuses more on like sun damage, um, works on the skin surface, but it's apparently for more drier skin types. I oil cleanse at night, and then I use a foam cleanser. If anyone here is an Eric Nam fan, he uses the same foam cleanser from Solved Skincare. It's a coconut water cleansing foam, and I totally bought this after hearing that he used it too. I really like it. I think it's just really simple. I always make sure to kind of rub it in my hands to activate the ingredients and then really get my neck and just make sure to really wash all that makeup off. Those are my cleansers. Okay, next up I'm gonna talk about toners. After I cleanse my face, I use a toner. This is the one I'm currently using. It's from Aquel, AC Well. I'm not sure exactly how to say it, but it's another Korean beauty brand. And this one is a licorice pH balancing cleansing toner. Something I noticed about Korean skincare is that they usually always list some sort of pH, and I wasn't really sure about that before. So I chatted with the SoCo Glam Concierge to kind of get information on, you know, are the products that I'm choosing, are these all gonna work well together based off of the different pH levels? And they're super helpful, by the way. So if you ever don't know what products you wanna buy, I highly recommend just chatting them up. This is licorice, and I specifically was looking for a licorice ingredient because I know that it's really good for redness, and that is another thing that I've been trying to work on. So besides the blackheads and the congestion, I'm also just trying to even out my skin tone. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this, and I just put it directly onto my hands and then just pat it on. I'd rather just get the product directly on my face, and since my skin has already been cleansed, I don't really need to wipe anything off. Now I will say, both of these, taste not good. Not that you should be eating it, but naturally when you're washing your face or toning your face, it kind of gets onto your lips. That's the one downside, but I have noticed really been helping with my redness. I'm reading on their site, this toner won Soko Glam Clean Beauty Award, Soko Glam People's Choice Award, Vegan Beauty, Best of K Beauty Award. This has won many different awards and that was why I was drawn to it. I just have to agree that it works very well. I just think it's a really stellar product. But on the topic of toners, I also wanted to do an honorable mention for this Centella toner from Purito. Purito is one of the first Korean skincare brands that I was using like religiously and this is super hydrating. So this is a different type of toner. This is more for redness and just evening your skin tone and dark spots. This is super hydrating. So when my skin was feeling super dry, this is what I would use. But I kind of just alternate between the two. So say if I use this in the morning before going to work out, and then when I come home and rinse off, I might use this instead. Put a little bit on. I really like the ingredient Centella, and you'll see my favorite face masks also have Centella in them because I find that it's very calming and hydrating, and it just makes my skin look and feel 
plumper. I always make sure to put my skincare on my neck as well. After I tone, I like to use a serum. I'm a serum buff, I love trying new serums. So what I'm using now is also Aquel, the same brand as the toner. This is the Licorice pH Balancing Advanced Serum. It's for sensitive skin. It also has won awards. So I like to use this with this toner and I find that the combination works really great for me and my skin. I do about three or four drops and then I just gently pat it onto my skin. So another serum that I am using is the Ceramide Barrier Serum from Coco Kind. Coco Kind isn't Korean beauty, but it is Asian owned. I believe Priscilla, the founder, is Chinese and Taiwanese. I always make sure to shake my serums and then I also kind of squeeze this in and out to make sure that whatever's in the wand also gets mixed up. This one is super hydrating. This ceramide has a blend of five ceramides, which are lipids that help maintain the skin's natural function, reduce moisture loss, and protect against hydration, irritations, and signs of aging. This ceramide serum also has lactic acid, and the girl who does my hydrofacials recommended using a lactic acid as well as hyaluronic acid, which I have in my skincare routine. We'll get to that one next. Apparently those two combined are like the holy grail and really helps with hydration and skin texture. Now I wanted to shout this product out. It's not Korean beauty and I don't use it every day. I only use it twice a week or so, but this is called True Skin Vitamin C Super Serum. It's really concentrated, but there's vitamin C, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and retinol. If you're using anything with retinol, you definitely wanna make sure you're using SPF throughout your day, not just putting it on in the morning and forgetting about it because SPF typically stops working after about two hours and you need to reapply. So after I cleanse, tone, and use my serums, I like to use a face mask and I do this maybe two times a week. It just kind of depends. So when I do a face mask, it's in the evening. It's after I've taken a bath, my pores are open. This is the face mask I am loving right now from Benton. Um, this is called the Goodbye Redness Centella Mask Pack. So we know we like Centella. And if I'm feeling like my skin just needs some extra hydration and love, I love this mask. It makes my skin feel so good. This is my self-care bath night routine mask. Since we're talking about Benton, I also have another product of theirs. I use Benton's fermentation eye cream. I use this every day, morning and night, under my eye, and I am pretty liberal with it. And I also do my eyelid and just my surrounding eye area. The last thing I wanna talk about are moisturizers. I have a favorite moisturizer. I've been recommending it to all of my friends. It is this one. It is the Hyaluron Moisture Cream by Hanskin. This to me is the glass skin moisturizer. It feels so hydrating on my skin. I love it. I always check to make sure there's no dog hair in it before I show it to you all, but this is the consistency. It's like a thick jelly-like cream. And oh my God, I love it. Oh, I love the way it just makes my skin glow. Soco Glam has it on their site as a game changer for those with chronically dry and dehydrated skin. This cream is so hydrating. There's no fragrances, parabens, artificial colors, any of that stuff. It has won its Clean Beauty and it has won the Soco Glam Best of K Beauty Award. It's only $30. I thought it was $44, but it's $30. So that makes it a little bit better. Glad I checked. This is what it looks like on the site. I love it, I highly recommend it. And I'm running low, so I already placed an order for another one. And if you do try it, let me know what you think. Last but not least, I mentioned this earlier, I use Coco Kinds SPF. I'm always looking for new ones to try, but this one is great. It doesn't leave a white cast, so I will show you. And I really like the Coco Kind SPF because I feel like it layers really well under my makeup. All right, so those are my favorite Korean beauty, Asian beauty skincare products. I know I mentioned quite a few different brands, um, but I just wanted to kind of put it out there and share them with you all. If you're looking to start a new routine, my recommendation would be to find a really great cleanser, find a toner and a serum and a moisturizer. And that'd be that. It kind of just depends on your skincare goal. All of these skincare products, in addition to a healthy diet, drinking lots of water, taking my vitamins, and getting facials, I think that it's all a part of the ecosystem and every little bit counts towards having 
glowing, clear, healthy skin. I don't know what it is, but since I hit 30, I think I've just been even more mindful with my skin and just doing what I can now to take good care of it so that my future self thanks me for it later when I'm 50 or 60 years old. All right, friends, thanks for hanging out and learning about my Korean beauty favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Hit subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.